Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Van Stone, and I want to demonstrate a little bit about how the Maya wrote their hieroglyphs. I'll be using modern tools, the handy Pigma Micron Pen, which is a great little uh, tool for drafting. Uh, it's very precise. The Maya tools were just as precise, but uh, they're a little harder to control, and uh, for, for my purposes I use these. The Maya would have used a quill pen made of an, uh, a bird feather, or an animal hair brush, and they would have um, probably used different sizes of pens for different sizes of strokes. With a brush you can actually make a heavy stroke by pressing harder and a lighter stroke by, by lighter touch, but it's, um, it's quite a skill to develop, and I find it simpler to use these. So I will demonstrate by writing the name of my esteemed filmmaker, Michael Giese, in Maya phonetic glyphs. ma i ka la Ki si ya. Right now I'm drawing the syllable ta, which means two. And uh, this glyph that I'm drawing right here is the skeleton of the centipede. And this is the first part of the syllable ma, which is a symmetrical glyph. This is the syllable E, the letter I, pronounced as it would be in Spanish. And uh, Ka is a fish fin, that's just the outline of it. And La is an upside down face. This is the second name, it's the syllable Key. And this is the syllable C, S, I. It's in three parts. And this would be the center and the sides of the glyph Ya. And then I would write my own name. First syllable would be syllable U. It's the skeleton of the U. And I am writing now the first syllable of my name, Ma. Again, the same as the Ma in Michael. And then Ku, which is what you call a stone glyph. And then use the stone glyph again to write the word stone. The word stone is tune in classic Maya. It has a syllable ni on the end of it. Looks like a ponytail or maybe a comet. So this is the outlines of u ma i ka la ki si ya u ma ku tun ni. That means to Michael Gysi, mark of the stone. And to put the details inside. Use a finer pen, makes much finer strokes. And this is why I call it a skeleton of a centipede. It's got these nice parallel lines, in line, little antennae. Little arch inside there. That's the ma. The e glyph, the letter I as a kind of a arch inside. Three dots at the bottom. The ka, like I said, is the fin of a fish, which is pronounced kai. So the word fish turned into the syllable ka. This is the syllable la. It's an upside down howling face. The syllable ki, nice inline like this. And it has a kind of a knot wrapped around it. This um, top of the C is um, like little antennae. And then it has, again, three dots inside. And the yaw glyph has a pair of fins like this. And sometimes they have a little inline like that. 
And then the syllable oo, there's a thousand ways to make oo. It's the most common sound in Maya, the most common word. But the simplest form is called the oo bracket. Here's my ma again. The tune glyph is uh, based on the, perhaps a picture of a cave. This would be a pool of water with drops around it. This would be something like a stalactite. And here's the stone again, the pool of water again. Sometimes the stalactite hangs from its own little roof like this. And then the knee syllable has a bunch of parallel lines. I think of it as a kind of a ponytail. And sometimes you put a little inline following the border of the cave like that. Ta ma i ka la ki si ya u ma ku tun ni. To Michael Gisi, Mark Van Stone.